In this lesson, we will study about stack data structure. So the name stack is derived from a real life example of uh, certain stacks. So for example, if we have a stack of plates, then uh, when you put a plate on the stack, you will put on the top. Of course, you can put uh, try to lift a few plates and then put it somewhere in between, but that is not convenient. The natural way to do is to put the plate on the top. And when you need a plate, you will not uh, remove it from somewhere the middle but you will pick the topmost plate that is the plate that was put last will be the one that will be pushed out popped out first so that's why it follows last in first out so this top plate was put last and now this is the one which you take out first and it's also in short it's called LIFO it's a uh, different from a queue data structure which we will see later there it's different the plate uh, the element that was pushed first that will be removed first in that same order here it's a stack now let's see the different operation the first operation is push operation which is inserting a new element to the stack so let's see an example of this so you insert one so initially there was no element so it will be there in the top then you insert two so it's at the top and when you will remove you will remove two from here now we insert three so this operation is called pushing so this is push operation and when you insert four it will be again pushed to the top you cannot push four between one and two so this operation should take o of one in typical implementations so we will talk about implementations later but you can think of it like uh, you can implement a stack using an array so you take an array and when you insert a new element you put it in the end and when you want to remove the element you remove from the last so that should take o of one time that is constant time of course you can have your own implementation which does not follow this but the recommended way is that it should be o of one next operation is pop so now we have the same stack we had inserted four elements now let's see the order in which it is popped so four is removed first when we call pop operation the top element will be removed then three is removed call pop once more now two is gone now there is just one element and it's removed now the stack is empty you cannot see it and th this operation also should take o of one time next is top so top uh, returns you the topmost element that is the element that was pushed last in the stack and uh, for this also in, in the implementation you will keep some pointer to the last element so let's say you insert 5 then the pointer will move to 5 and when you pop element the pointer will move down so it just removes the top element so again it should take O of one time constant time so you see that all the operations are taking O of one time next there is a query operation where uh, you can query whether uh, the stack is empty or not so in the first case this is not an empty stack it has two elements and in the second one it's empty so it, is, it should return true or false depending on this again this you can get from some counter you can keep track of size of uh, the stack that is number of elements inserted so you can start with a size of zero whenever you insert a new element or push a new element you increment the size whenever you uh, pop an element you decrement the size and when the size is zero uh, the stack is empty otherwise it's non-empty so this operation should also take o of one time so there can be many more uh, operations custom operations depending on your requirement but these are the standard operations and all of them are taking o of one time so i hope you understood the basic concept of stacks stacks are very useful and we will see it in different uh, programming problems that we will solve in uh, many cases where you are uh, not allowed to use recursion explicitly you can use stack instead to avoid recursion and solve a particular problem using stacks so we will see all of that so um, uh, my goal is that you understand the concept well next we will talk also talk about queue data structure which will be similar to this but it will follow fifo uh, process that is first in first out